What up sis, it's Val back with another video and it's been a minute and actually this is my first video in my new apartment with my man and I'm so freaking happy and I just had my birthday the other day and I turned 21 and my hair is dark now so that's new and yeah we're just gonna do some makeup today I just really wanted to like sit down and film a video and now that I moved out I can make videos all the time so I'm definitely gonna be posting literally all the time so make sure you subscribe to my channel um, I'll have it down below on my social media so definitely make sure you follow my social medias as well and thumbs up this video if you guys want to see more because that definitely helps YouTube share my videos with other people so that I can grow on here so I'm able to just stay home and do more videos and do challenges Challenges and looks and everything for you guys all the time so definitely make sure to support your girl and thank you guys so much for watching today I really appreciate it and I'm so excited to do my makeup in this apartment so just keep on watching and I'll see you in the video okay you guys so let's get it started so I'm gonna be starting off with prepping my skin and so far I've just used the um, Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Oil on my face and then the MAC Strobe Cream because I really like to be glowy. Um, and then I'm also going to spray their Urban Decay Quick Fix Spray. This is like a little priming spray, um, but then I also use it later on too, but you'll see. Um, so I just kind of shake it up, spray this. I just don't really like to use like creamy primers and stuff because I just never really see a difference with those. Um, but with this one, I just really like it because I think it really hydrates the skin. So I like that with my little combination of my oils and shit. So, okay, I'm going to let that sink in. And then I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Clinique Even Better Refresh Foundation. This is my shit. It's so bomb. I really love it because it's full coverage. And I really like a full coverage look. But I hate if something feels or looks cakey. Um, so I really like this one because it actually has a dewy finish, so it looks so pretty on the skin, and a little bit goes a long way with this shit. Also, this is a darker color because, um, my body is tan, and then I don't tan my face because I don't want that shit to clog my pores, so this is gonna be dark. But, this is shade Neutral 52, and I'm just gonna be using my e.l.f. sponge today, and I'm just gonna kinda start going in. And blending out my foundation. So I, I like to just kind of dot it around. Um, so yeah. I kind of do this. And you guys, we're going to have like a life update. Because I know it's been a minute. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start blending out that foundation. This is a damp sponge. Definitely make sure to dampen your sponge. It just really helps to press everything in and sink it into the skin a lot better. So definitely do this. And I just freaking love this foundation. I, every time I wear this, like, people ask me about my skin all day long. And why I love the Clinique foundations too, you guys, is I used to wear literally every different foundation. But, okay, so Clinique is very clean and they actually have skincare in the makeup. So your skin actually gets better all day while you're wearing it. So it's not like you're just covering your skin up. You're actually making it better. And I literally have seen my skin get better from this shit. So definitely go try it on. Um, it's actually, it's $32. But yeah, super bomb. So it's been my favorite. And then I'm just blending it down to my neck since it is a little bit darker. But I just want everything to blend good. Like, look how pretty. It's, like, really good coverage, but it's pretty natural. You can kind of do your ears like that. Okay, so let's have a life update while we do our makeup today, okay? I'm going to be going in with the um, ColourPop Concealer. I've actually been using the Kylie Concealer every day. Um, and I love that one, but this one, I just ran out of that one, so I've been using this one. This one's, like, hella light, but I'm just going to do a little bit, because I actually don't like a lot of concealer anymore. Um, so, yeah. Um, but, okay, I'm so freaking happy because I just got moved, well, me and my boyfriend just got moved into our first apartment, and it's literally the best thing ever, and I've been waiting on this forever, so... I'm so happy and we actually have the same birthday and we just celebrated our birthday and I turned 21, bitch. And so it's just been like literally the best time ever. 
um but i now that i moved out i'm gonna be filming all the time so definitely make sure you guys subscribe and you guys like these videos because that really helps me and it helps share my videos so that i can grow on youtube um so definitely make sure you're doing those things and commenting and all of that good stuff and support your girl um we're also going to be having people on this channel because i really like actually doing other people's makeup too and i want girls to come on this channel and me get to showcase that um, so that's probably going to be coming soon as well. Um, I also started esthetician school, so your girl's getting licensed, which is bomb. It's really fun, and yeah, and my birthday was super fun, super, super fun. I really, I was going to make a, um, 21st birthday video, and then it just didn't end up working out because I just work so much now and I have school full time and work full time and I wanted to enjoy that day with my man and like not really be in a rush to do anything. So um, I didn't film but I did have a look from my birthday that I think I'm going to just recreate um, in a video if you guys want to see that. So definitely let me know. Okay, so now that I got that all blended out, that's basically all that I do for the skin there. I'm just going to go with my Maybelline um, Fit Me Loose Powder. This is my favorite, and I always recommend this to people when they come in my store because um, it's so nice. You know, like I've tried so many different setting powders, and I just really like that this one, yeah, it's inexpensive, but it's freaking bomb. And I remember, okay, so Daisy Marquez talked about this in one of her videos, and then I literally went and got it because I honestly am kind of bougie with my makeup, and I do like to get nice makeup, um, but, uh, you know, I was open to, like, trying the Maybelline powder, and it's freaking bomb, and I love it so much, and I 10 out of 10 recommend it. I love it because it doesn't make the skin look powdery. I have to, like, literally tap it out, but it doesn't make the skin look powdery, which but I'm just kind of stippling that powder into the skin and always go for the under eyes first because the under eyes can crease the fastest and we want to keep that area super smooth. So I always go and set there right after I got the concealer down. Um, but yeah, and I'm literally so excited because I set up the cutest little beauty area and I am so excited to be making more videos. Um, so get ready because, and definitely like, let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see if there's a certain kind of video or anything. I'm definitely open. So again, I'm just kind of dusting this powder all over my face. I'm trying to think about what look I want to do today because I honestly just have school, but I just really, like, this is my first time I got to sit down in my apartment and film a video and I just really, like, wanted to film something, so here I am, but I think we're going to do something cute, like, I might do some glitter or some rhinestones with my eyes because I want to do, like, something fun because I've been doing, like, so much natural <laughs> stuff so i'm just like i kind of want to do something fun and maybe like holiday-ish because it's literally november and it's almost thanksgiving and shit that's another thing like we're so excited to have thanksgiving like at our place and like christmas at our place it's literally the best shit ever but oh i also kind of like set my neck with powder too just you know because you'd be touching it and shit so okay so now I'm gonna go in with my Benefit Cheek Leaders Palette. Yeah, I use this shit all the time because it's bomb. Definitely get one if you can. Um, so I like to use the Hula. <laughs> it looks crazy, but it's because I actually love this shit and I haven't got a new just bronzer, but I've just been using this one out of here now and then this blush. So I'm gonna use the darker, this, so this is the original Hula bronzer over here, right? And then this is like the darker one. So I've been kind of using the darker one now, but I'm gonna kind of like mix both. Um, and then I'm just gonna follow like along my cheekbones, you know what to do. And this is an It Cosmetics powder brush, which is bomb. They have really great quality brushes. Um, I also love Morphe's obviously, but yeah, It Cosmetics really like, their brushes are so soft and amazing. Especially like for powder and stuff like this is so soft. Like I use this for my bronzer literally every day. Um, but yeah. So I think we'll do like some cute rhinestones or something. I also like really want to do, I've said this on my channel before, but I really want to do um, like girl talks. Because I like just like, I don't know, I like giving advice or I like talking. I'm going to have some of my girlfriends on this channel and stuff and we're going to do challenges. So I'll probably do a challenge next, but 
And also, like, I've been having so much fun decorating my place. It's so freaking fun. Um, wait, ah, where's my little nose contour shit? Pause! Okay, so I'm just gonna contour along. Well, not contour. I'm just gonna kind of bronze on the side of my nose a little bit. Just to, like, tie everything in together. Because I like to be bronzy, bitch. So... But yeah, like decorating a house or like decorating a place is so much fun. It's literally so fun. It's the best thing ever. I just want to stay here all the time. That's the problem. Like it makes me not want to go to work in a school because I just wish I could just be here doing YouTube all day. That's why you guys got to like these videos so I can do this full time. But so I'm just doing my blush kind of on my cheekbones. What? What? Not my cheekbones. The apples in my cheeks. I don't know what I just said. Okay, so this is kind of like what point my skin is at right now. And so now I'm going to do my highlight, which is also Benefit. I use the Benefit Cookie Highlight. This shit is so good. Like, just hold on. Bitch. Period. This shit is bomb. Like, it's so pretty. And they're so buttery. I freaking love this highlight. They have one called, um, Twinkle 2 or something. And it's, like, pinkier. Um, but it's really pretty if you are, like, darker complected. But this one's, like, good for me. So I'm going to take the Morphe M510. This is the best highlight brush in the world, so go get one. And I'm just going to kind of dust in here. And I'm going to start on my Cupid's bow right above my lip and dust it there because that's going to make it look bomb when I get my lips on and then I'm going to just start going down my nose light like I'm barely touching it but like mainly on the end and then it just looks so pretty then my chin like that and then my cheekbones and you see like how it already looks like I have a highlight there because of the products I used before and because of the foundation that I used before so using those products like it looks like I'm already highlighted which is bomb um, but I'm gonna highlight obviously more and I just kind of do little circular motions and then I always carry it above my brow bone and look how pretty that is and that was like one swipe but that's why like your tools matter this brush really makes a difference when I used to use a fan brush it used to not be like that you know, so your tools do matter. Um, but, and like, I used to always have to wet my highlight. And this highlight is so bomb, I don't even have to, like, I used to always spray my face and then do my highlight so it would be brighter. But now I don't even have to do that shit because it's already bright. Okay. But definitely cute. So, okay. <laughs> I'm so funny, bro. I just. Okay. So. This is my skin right here. So I'm going to start with my brows. And I'm going to be using this little LA Girl brush. I got this from a makeup master class. And it's actually really good. So if you're, you know, in the market, get this one. And then I'm going to be using my Beauty Creations Brow Kit. And this one just has, like, this really good dark brow powder in it. And since... Oh, yeah! I forgot to talk about that! I have black hair now! My hair is dark. And it's long as hell. But it's cute. So that was a big change because, you know, I was a blondie on here before, but here we are. So now I'm using um, my brow powder just so it'll be dark enough since my hair is darker now. And oh my God, I got to highlight my brow bone first. Hold on. Okay, so I'm actually going to take my cookie highlight and I'm going to take this little Morphe tapered brush like this and highlight my brow bone because this helps me see like where I want that mm to be. You know what I mean? That mm. Yeah. So, Okay. So now I'm going in with my brow powder on this LA Girl brush, and I just trace under my brow first. Like that. And then kind of like just follow your brow shape. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Normally I'll do like, <laughs> normally I'll do like one at a time. Oh my god, I've never done my brows like in this camera before. I need a mirror or something, bitch. Hold on. Ah, I don't think I have one. Hold up. Okay. So. Then. Okay, so then I'm tracing the top part of my brow. 
like this. And connecting those and just kind of filling in. And then I'm gonna work on the front part. So for the front part, you wanna go upwards. And keep like brushing through them when you're doing it because it helps a lot. Ooh, bitch. See, that matches my hair better. I wanna get that on there, okay. Bomb. Okay, I'm gonna do the other one off camera and then I'll be back. Okay, so I think I'm going to use my James Charles palette today just because this has all the colors, girl, you know. And I think I want to do, I'm trying to think what would be cute with like what I have on. I'm just going to start going and see what happens. I don't even know. Okay, so I'm going to be taking my Morphe, I don't know what it says, brush. And this is a blending brush. And then I'm going to be taking this color right here. I'm just going to use like these colors. I'm thinking like something warmer, reddish maybe. All right. So I'm going to start blending. Okay, I picked up too much product. But it's cool. But yeah, I'm super excited to be doing challenges on here and everything. And guys, now I want a dog. Now that we've moved into this place, like, I need a dog now. Or a baby. But you know. Just kidding. This color is so pretty and bomb. I'm taking Christmas pictures today. So, I'm thinking like something warm on my eyes would be really cute. Cause I just have school today. Blending is like the shit, girl. Mm, 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 mm. We need some damn music in this bitch. Okay. I'm taking like this brownish reddish color right here. I'm going to pop it like in the outer corner just to start, kind of deepening that up. And same thing on the other side. And when I'm blending, eyes are like literally my favorite thing to do. But when you blend, you can do back and forth or little like circular motions or whatever you want to do. Sometimes little hairs come off of the brush. And you can just kind of go back over the edges. And we'll go back over too with another brush most likely. But, okay. Should I do some glitter? I think I'm going to do some glitter. Hold on, let me go get it. Okay, you guys. So now I'm going to be cutting my crease. So I'm going to be using that same um, ColourPop concealer that I used earlier. And my little Morphe um, uh, flat shader brush. This is the M124. So I'm just going to kind of tap into that concealer. And then I'm just going to start cutting my crease. I'm going to kind of look in the mirror while I do this, but I lay some concealer down. And then I start to just kind of follow where my crease goes. It's really easy with brushes like this, honestly.
So kind of like that. So then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, I'm just kind of like following my crease right there. And then I am going to do some glitter. So I'm going to lay down like some glitter glue and stuff after this. Okay, so then we're going to have something like that. And then you can kind of compare and see like, okay, this one I need to bring over a little bit more there. Okay. So then I know I'm going to take the glitter about that far. Okay, so then I'm going to be using my NYX glitter glue. So then I'm just going to get some of that on the back of my hand and lay that right down on top of the concealer. And you can let the concealer like dry for a second or whatever. I need some wine, bitch, or some coffee or something. Okay, so I'm going to take some of that glue and just literally go right over where I put the concealer and just kind of coat it. Just make sure you have enough on there so that the glitter doesn't fall down. Like I said, it'll be like that. And then I'm using this NYX Loose Glitter Pigment. This is in Ice. And it's number 07, and I just kind of poured some of it into this lid so I can pick it up easier. So I'm going to use the other side of that brush and just pick up the glitter. And I'm going to, again, look in my mirror while I, like, lay it down. But I'm going to just start pressing it onto the eye. Just kind of tapping it. If you, like, try to swipe it on there, it's not going to work. It's going to just kind of fall down. So you want to tap it on there. And look how pretty. Yes. Okay. Ah, I need like a face brush. I'm just going to use my highlight brush to like sweep some of that glitter away. Okay, so it's going to look kind of like this right now. Shit, I got it on my lashes. Oh, I hate when that happens. Okay, then you can take like a blending brush because I did do that same color that I did in my crease on the lower lash line because you do want to balance it out. So okay, I'm going to go ahead and leave this like this for right now and I'm going to go ahead and start doing the glitter on the other side. So I'm going to again take the um, side of the brush where I had the glue and um, just do the same thing. So I'm going to lay the glue down. Oh fuck, I put a lot... This one has a lot of glue. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of like let that dry for a second. I'm gonna tap it off my um, line right there. Okay, so then I'm gonna use that same side again that I did the glitter and tap back into that NYX glitter and just start tapping it on there. Y'all, loose glitter is everything. And like it stands out, especially if you're doing pictures and shit like what I'm doing today. It stands out. So now I just take that blending brush and kind of like go against where the crease is and like blend it out. Um, and then just ignore your lashes. We're going to clean those up. Okay, so now at this point, I'm just going to take my little Zueva brush. It's kind of tapered, so you can use any tapered brush. Um, and I'm going to tap into those same colors I originally used, but a little bit more brown too. And now that I have that glitter on there, I'm just going to do this in the outer corner just to kind of blend that in with the glitter and deepen it up a little bit. Like that. Same thing on the other side. I'm just kind of tapping it in. And then I'm going to go back over with my blending brush. So we'll blend this out. But that's going to help so much. Once we get lashes on too, it's going to be a bomb. These NYX glitters I definitely recommend because they're not expensive and they're really good quality. And honestly, they don't have bad fallout or anything. Like it's pretty typical. So they're bomb. So this is what it's looking like right now. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do some mascara. So I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. And I'm just going to coat my lashes just to basically get the glitter off. I wear false lashes every day. Um, 
so I'm not really trying to like lengthen mine or anything like that I'm just like trying to coat them so that they'll blend so I don't even curl mine you can curl yours it does help them blend with the lashes better I just normally don't do it but definitely do it if you want to girl Okay, but I do love doing mascara on the bottom lash line, like, because I actually have good bottom lashes, and I actually like to do that. Okay, so this is kind of what I have right now. Super cute, and you guys can definitely recreate this look, and if you do, tag me in your shit, guys, and I will repost it. Because it's fun to share looks. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and start prepping my lashes. And I've already take the, taken them out of the box. These are the Tati, <laughs> the Tati lashes from, uh, or the collab with M -M -M Mitchell. Um, and these are so big and fluffy and beautiful. And I always get compliments on these. And I definitely recommend them because they're amazing quality. And what I do is um, you can get like a bundle deal too if you're a makeup artist. So it's really nice. You can get like 60% off or something because... Um, if you buy 20 pairs of lashes, it's only 90 and a lot of like really nice fluffy lashes are at least 30 or something or 20 or something. So you just get more pairs. Um, so then I like keep 10. I'll put 10 in like my client makeup area and shit. So um, definitely recommend these. These are amazing quality and they're just so beautiful. So I'm going to be using my duo lash glue and I'm just going to go ahead and start prepping my lashes. And then while the glue is drying, I'm going to go ahead and do my lips. Um, and I'm just going to be using the NYX lip liner and this is in shade Los Angeles um, 37. And then I'm going to be using my MAC Velvet Teddy and a little bit of my Becca um, lipstick in shade Dusk. That's like been my lip combo lately and I literally get questions about it every single day. So I'm going to show you guys how I do it, but I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I do my lips. So I'm just taking my NYX liner. I'm just tracing my line. And then I'm going to go ahead on the top and kind of overline. And I actually fill in the whole lip like that. So that way the lipstick has something to stick to. I just got Invisalign. It's cool. It hurts though. Okay, like that. So that's my lips. And then I'm going to be taking my MAC Velvet Teddy. And just kind of fill that in. And then I'm going to be taking my Becca Dusk. Bomb. This is like such a good nude lip, but like nude with a little bit of color. I get so many compliments on it. Compliments on it. <laughs> Okay, so I'll be back with my lashes. Also, one trick that I've started doing recently that I freaking love is taking your face oil. So, like once we have our face on like this, taking a face oil and doing a few drops. And then taking a beauty blender or just a sponge and like tap into it a little bit. And then go over your skin. It just like sings everything in so much better and it makes it just kind of like melt. It's so pretty. And then you just like instantly like glowy, go like under the eyes with it. Yes, so like this. So definitely do that. And then you can take like the oil down like to the neck too, just to like look more glowy down here too. See? Glowy skin seriously is the best job. Like no matter what you do, if you have glowy skin or like just, you know, make it look so bomb. All right, so I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look. 
Okay, so we got our glitter and our lashes and everything and I freaking love it and it was so fun to film this video in my apartment for the first time and they're gonna be coming all the time, bitch. So definitely make sure you subscribe, guys. It was so much fun to make this video today, so definitely thumbs up it if you guys wanna see more from me and more chit chat videos and more challenge videos. So they're coming, girl, but I freaking love this look and I definitely like the little technique of using the oil on the face because I definitely think it made it like really just glowy and I freaking love that so I love it and all right you guys so I'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching bye guys